Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your new love reading for the month of September. This We're finishing up um, some of the last few readings that we do in September, and I thought this would be fun. Somebody suggested it in the comments below, so we're definitely going to reward that person with a free 20-minute reading. Um, I want to thank all of my subscribers who entered the contest for free reading by liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. Thank you. I want to welcome all new visitors. I hope you enjoy this reading. Let's get started. Two of Wands, Capricorn. So you're looking into the future. The next card that fell out, well, that is no surprise at all. <laughs> Ten of Coins is, you know, it's not Capricorn energy. It's actually Virgo energy, but it always shows that that's your ultimate goal is to build a legacy, a legacy of love. You know, this particular legacy has children and family and dogs and a beautiful home and lots of children. All right. Capricorn for new love we have the temperance card that is a card of reconciliation so who is it that you would like to have back in your life okay let's see how people view you Capricorn Ooh, a lot of people view you as all up in your head that is Gemini energy you're really not making any moves it looks like you're staying silent self-imposed restriction you seem to be very worried also so let's see what else we have. So new love in their heart space. Your person has, oh wow, okay. You are definitely, you've locked somebody out. Capricorn, look at you. Self-imposed restriction, you're not talking to somebody. And in their heart space, this person who is Sagittarius energy, maybe, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, who wants to reconcile with you has been left out in the cold, but they have the key right here to the door. The lock is there, but they are so busy being unhappy that they're not seeing what they could do to make the situation better. Okay, let's see what else we have. The Leo King, ooh, Leo energy. Leo energy in the house, Capricorn. You are, you love somebody who is very, very stubborn, fixed, but offers a very sexy, very affectionate relationship with a lot of loyalty. All right, ooh, okay, what's hidden here is that you want marriage. You want marriage with this person, you want a traditional relationship with them, you want everything that you've ever hoped for. You may work with this person. It does show that there's something going on in the relationship. The three of coins means that they, that you're, it's like a caution sign because the top is yellow, right? Yellow light instead of the red light. So you're gonna be very careful with this person. What's the outcome card? Ooh, <laughs> there you go. You have someone coming in. That is Cancerian energy, Capricorn. That's your seventh house of love and marriage. Okay, so why do we have the two of wands here? All right, you are forcing this person to come towards you. Basically by ignoring them, by staying home, by, you know, this could be Rona Geddon too, self-imposed restriction, could be Rona Geddon. Why do we have, but you, this person is really getting ready. They have a lot to say to you. They want to talk to you. They want to see you. Okay, that Knight of Swords energy is Gemini energy. They have something on their mind. Okay, Ten of Coins indicates that the energy, you really are studying your life the situation around you to get to this 10 of coins. That's what you want. That's what, you're not gonna settle for anything less that I can see. Okay, why is temperance here? So we have Gemini energy, Gemini energy, Aries energy, uh, Virgo energy, Sag, Gemini, ta uh, Taurus, Leo, Taurus, um, Capricorn, and Cancer, okay? Yep, you are. You have made a head over heart decision to stay balanced, to not let your emotions run away with you. You've walked away from some situation that was very burdensome to you. This was a soulmate of the minor arcana, but you really do want them to come back because that's why they're manifesting here. 
the eight of swords means that you know you really wish you could throw caution to the wind but i don't i see you feeling too fearful to do that yep devil energy capricorn you've just appeared in your reading you know you really want to be in control of this relationship you want to be pulling the puppet strings so to speak and that isn't necessarily healthy energy and i think that most of you know that so it does show that you have a really strong need to feel in control or at least to feel as though you're not taking too big of a risk you don't really like risk you don't really like necessarily throwing caution to the wind. Yep, you don't want to be involved with anybody who's a lightweight. And you are definitely on the lookout for that. Okay, why is the five of coins here? Why is the five of coins here? Eight of coins. This is a person you work with. I see this in a couple of different ways. Here, 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 here. So you probably work with this person. You see them absolutely, and they see you as a rock star. The star card is Aquarius energy, but it is spiritual. It means that you're beautiful inside, you're beautiful outside. You know, it really is about um, a very strong spiritual element of love, um, more so than passion. But then we have the very passionate King of Wands juggling two. So the King of Wands looks as though they were not exclusive with you or haven't been at this time. This could be a fairly new love relationship for some. Some of you are just sort of finding your way around dating again. The Hierophant. Ooh, look at that Taurus energy, Taurus energy. Ooh, you may be dealing with a Taurus and it is a beautiful, beautiful uh, relationship. I feel as though new love for you is going to be someone who, for whom you have the, all these wonderful feelings, who has been busy working. They're not really seeing the big picture. They just know that they want their Capricorn. Uh, this is a very passionate person. But again, this person has not been dating you exclusively. Um, they have been juggling. Now that could be money. Juggling money is reasonable. Juggling jobs, having more than one job. But right now, what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn, though, is you do not think that this person is necessarily being a wild child. But you want what you want with them. And if they're not going to give you love, Ace of Cups, beautiful outcome, new love comes in very quickly. This may happen within the next week. When we get the Ace of Cups and we go to the Chariot card, we're looking at seven, seven hours, seven days, seven minutes, seven weeks at the longest. Typically it's not, it could be the seventh of the month though. We're, you know, so it's, um, or seven months. It could also be the seventh of a month. But I'm seeing this person as being someone you already know. You have your, your heart set on being with this person. You are forcing them to choose you and take a leap of faith. You're not going to do anything. They have to come in. They have to convince you that they are worthy of you. You see this person as your heart's content. You see them as your desire. And let's see what you've already had with this person. They don't really understand. Let's see, why is the five of coins here? Uh, they feel as though you left them and they don't know why. Capricorn, where did you go? Where did you go? Yep, they feel very guarded. The truth is, is they see you as a very happy, successful single person. And why is that a problem? Ah, they seem to be very emotional. They have some pretty strong emotions towards you. Why is the King of Wands here? The King of Wands is driving you crazy. You don't really like the King of Wands energy because of this too. Again, this person is not dating you exclusively and you're just not having it. Um, all right, here we go. Yay! We have the Knight of Cups Piscean energy. This person is going to figure it out. They are going to be passionate, down to earth, grounded, and they are going to stop juggling two people. So if you've met this person on the internet, you know, if you're... If you know this person, but you really haven't had the relationship you want with them, this is the time. It's going to happen quickly, and it's just, and you're going to have all of your wish fulfillment. This is manifestation of marriage, manifestation of the potential of having a child. You may be different ethnicities, different cultures. You might be from different countries, but you've already manifested this love. 
Miracles, whoa. <laughs> well, Leo energy can be very stubborn, so it may feel like a miracle when this person is starts really embracing the depth of love that you are embracing, your vision, courage. Oh, look at that, Leo does have courage. So that is what I see. It, um, I hope to see you in another reading really soon. Namaste. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and leave a comment below. Thank you so much telling me where you're from. Hope to see you again in another reading really soon. Thanks, Kat. Bye-bye.